Scale is a very common pest of house plants. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to identify the scale. And then I'll give you a mixture that you can make up with baby oil and water. They'll help you get rid of all the scale in your house plants. There are over 8,000 species of scale, and they come in different colors, shapes, and sizes. This can make it difficult to identify them, but most scale are small and don't move around once they have settled in a spot on your plant. Most look like bumps on leaves and stems. They start life as eggs under the protection of the female. Once hatched, the so-called crawlers move away from the mother and find a suitable spot on the plant where they insert mouth parts and start feeding. This triggers the formation of a protective shell or scale. Once they are located in the spot, they stay there. As they grow, the scale gets larger. There are soft-bodied scales, but most of the ones you'll see on houseplants and in the garden are hard-bodied ones, as shown in these pictures. Some scale produces a honeydew, which can lead to the formation of sooty mold. Many times gardeners will notice the black mold before they see the scales. The hard protective covering makes it a bit difficult to get rid of scale. Contact insecticides don't work because they don't get under the shell. It is best to use a spray like the baby oil mixture I use because the oil coats the insect and suffocates it. So this is how I make up my baby oil bug spray. I fill a spray bottle to about here, so it's almost full, with plain tap water. I then want two tablespoons of baby oil. Now an easy way to pour this into the bottle is to pour it onto the stem and then it'll just run down the stem without spilling onto the bottle. There you go. Now I'd already put one tablespoon in, so that was the second tablespoon. And now I want just a drop or two of dish soap. That's lots. Now dish soap doesn't matter which brand you use, they're, they're all good for this spray. Too much of this will harm your plants. Okay, dish soap is really not great for spraying plants, although lots of people use it. A uh, much better product would be uh, insecticidal spray. But since uh, most people don't have that at home, you can use this dish soap. Close it up. And the oil and water don't really mix too well, so you'll see the oil sitting on top here. So it's important to give this a really good shake. And the soap helps the two mix together. As you're spraying, every once in a while, give it another shake just to make sure it stays in solution. There you go. That's all there is to making this mixture. It's very safe. Uh, this obviously won't even hurt a baby. This you use on your dishes every day. So none of these products will hurt you. Now I'd like to show you how I spray my plants. So I've got my mixture made up in my spray bottle and I've got one of my orchids here and I'm going to spray all surfaces of the leaves here. What's particularly important is that you get right into the cracks here. Both mealybugs and scale like to hide in there and so you've got to get right in there. You also have to get the underside of the leaves. Now, the best place to spray this is something like the, the bathtub or a uh, you know, plant room is great because uh, it is a bit of a messy process. So give this a good shake. Give it a good spray. Make sure you get the underneath parts. A lot of pests like to hide there. Okay, This is dripping quite well. The excess can run into the pot, there won't be any harm to the roots. Get right into the bottom there where the roots join the plant. And that's it. Now once this dries, what you should see is that all your leaves are shiny. If they're still a dull color, it means you didn't have enough oil in your spray bottle. Just put some more oil in and do it again. On the other hand, if you put too much oil in here, your leaves will get very sticky. You want this to be shiny, but not sticky. 
Now just leave that alone for a couple days and your scale and milling bugs should all be dead. I generally spray my plants about every three months in the house and uh, just to control any any uh, insects that come along and that's all there is to it. If you're doing mealybugs they just die you can ignore them. The scale will also die but it won't come off the plant very easily so even at the end of a week you'll still see the scale it'll just be dead and you can come and kind of flick it off it becomes fairly loose or just wait over time all that scale will fall off. If you have any questions about spraying your plants with the baby oil, leave a comment below and I'll be glad to answer it. You can also join our Facebook group called Garden Fundamentals and people from all over the world will help answer your questions. Thanks very much for watching this video.